Hey, welcome back to another Steam Deck video. I've got my Steam Deck here because we're going to do a little bit of DIY today. Um, if you watched my last video, we basically talked about the B button being stuck. And if you want to know what I mean, this is what I mean. Basically, there's a defect in the shell of the Steam Deck with a little lip on it. Um, and the B button is short enough to go down and catch that little lip. Now, if it doesn't get stuck on the lip, it scrapes against that little lip. And it just feels really disconcerting or it just feels really weird um and it's really annoying especially when you're playing games really fast and it's sticking one out every 10 times when you're playing like a fighting game or a platformer it can be really frustrating so we're going to show you how to fix it um or at least a temporary fix now there's two ways you could let you could let it fix itself you could basically just keep playing with the b button and hopefully wear that little lip, lip down and if you want to see what the little lip that i'm talking about this is the little lip on the shell as you can see that little bit here that's the opening for the button on the inside of the shell. This little tiny plastic defect is a defect of the shell or the casing. Um, and this is the thing that the button keeps catching on. So you could either A, open it up and sand that little lip off. B, you can let it wear down over time and then hopefully you won't have an issue. Or C, which we're gonna do in this video, and that is basically Put a bit of scotch tape above the b button and we're going to do it right now so let's get let's get into this and let's not spend too long doing it all right um oh my water bottle just fell down so this i'm not going to edit this video this is going to be straight you're going to straight up see this get done in real time so this will be kind of fun um let's see if i can make it stick can i make it stick Maybe mine's just wore down a little bit, so it's not sticking as often now. Anyways, you're going to need two things for this. You're going to need scotch tape, or off-brand scotch tape, and a pair of scissors. Dirty scissors. <laughs> Any kind of scissors. Scotch tape, scissors, boom, you're done. Um, scotch tape fixes. Well, it, it's a temporary fix. If you don't feel like sanding, and you don't want, you don't feel like waiting for, um, waiting for it to wear down on its own, then this is definitely a good alternative. And it might look a little bit janky, I'm not going to lie, but if it fixes the issue right, that's the main thing. Um, so let me just get this. Here's my little slither of tape. Do you see that? You probably can't see it, it's so small. But we're basically gonna, let's see if I can get this over the B button here a little bit more accu accurately. Now this is this could be hard, it could be difficult, I'm not sure. But we're gonna give it a shot anyway. All right. We're gonna put it over here. Now you can actually, cut a bit of tape wider than this i'm i'm basically obviously mine's is mine's is a little bit thin and skinny um but there we go boom so <laughs> this looks super jacky but you can obviously make your your bit of tape wider than mine this is like really thin but it does the job anyway and what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim this tape to about here Now, I know this looks really janky, but if it works, it works, right? It saves you waiting three weeks for an RMA, and you don't have to wait, just hope, like, wait till that lip wears down. So there you go. Um, I'm not getting any stickiness now. It's not catching on the lip whatsoever. It's like, it feels like it should feel now. Look at that. No bounce, no, it's not catching in the slightest. It's not catching in the slightest. In the slightest. <laughs> yes, success. It looks really bad. I mean, only you're really going to notice it. Like, you're not really going to notice that little bit of tape at a distance. But if you look for it, it's there. But it saves me a three-week a three week RMA. Um, it's a quick fix. And hopefully, you know, that little lip will wear down eventually. But oh my god. Yes. 
So hopefully that video was helpful for you um, for anyone with the sticky B button. I'm going to share it on, I'll probably, you know, I'll share it on my Twitter and everything like that. And hopefully people find this video. But there's a demonstration of what to do. Um, it's really simple. And it fixes the issue. It saves you three weeks in RMA time having to return this. Um, return this to Steam. Wait three weeks for them to send another one out and potentially have the same issue or maybe even more issues. And like I said in my last issue, like I said in my last video, um, this Steam Deck is perfect. The screen's perfect. There's no bleeding. There's no crunchy thumbstick like some people have had. Um, the the trigger buttons are working perfectly. There's no joystick drift. Um, none of the other buttons are sticking. The fan isn't too loud. All right, maybe if it is, it doesn't bother me. Um, the only issue was the B button, and now, as you saw, it got fixed. Um, so there we go. Um, so if you like this video, please consider dropping a like. Maybe even sharing it with someone um, who's maybe having the same issue. Um, and also, subscribe. Click the bell icon. Click the bell icon so you get notified of more Steam Deck content, because I will be doing more. And maybe join our 24-hour stream, because I have a stream that runs 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Um, if I'm not live on it, then we're playing replays of old videos. Sorry, recent videos and recent streams and even a little bit of 3D printing when I'm 3D printing stuff. So thank you for watching. I love you. I appreciate you. Have an amazing day. Have an amazing weekend, more importantly. And um, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Blaze2K signing out. Hopefully that helped you. Bye.